Otis College of Art and Design presents How to Mix and Apply Gouache Triad Color Harmony With me, Maura Bendet In this video, I will show you how to easily mix and apply gouache in order to paint swatches for a triad color harmony. A triad color harmony is created by using three hues that are evenly spaced on the color wheel. I can rotate an equilateral triangle to any position on the color wheel and it will automatically point to three hues that make up a triad color harmony. I have decided to work with these three hues, Rose Tyrian, Linden Green, and Sky Blue. Here you can see how each hue aligns on the color wheel. I will paint a variety of swatches using different combinations of Rose Tyrian, Linden Green, and Sky Blue. I will also combine Jet Black and Permanent White with the gouache colors, which will allow me to create an even wider variety of hues, chroma, and values. I will paint my swatches on Bristol vellum paper. I like 400 weight because it's a fairly thick paper and doesn't curl a lot as the swatches dry. To paint the swatches, I will use flat edge watercolor brushes with soft silky bristles, which will lay the paint down smoothly and evenly. To mix the gouache, I will also use a palette knife and a disposable piece of palette paper. I will also need a large container of water to clean my brushes when I switch colors and I will need some paper towels. If there's a clear liquid in the paint too, don't worry. It's simply gum arabic, which is part of the paint. Add a few drops of water into the gouache and mix it thoroughly with your palette knife until the gouache is the consistency of shampoo. Now moisten your brush and blot with a paper towel. Then dip it in the gouache. At the top of your page, Paint a swatch of each of your three pure hues evenly. I'm using a separate brush for each color in order to keep the swatch colors pure. I like to use two types of brush strokes, first from side to side, then from bottom to top, lightly floating the brush across the surface of the paper. This will minimize any ridges potentially created by the bristles. The main rule when painting a triad color harmony is that there must always be two of the three colors in each swatch. even if there's a lot of one color and only a tiny amount of the other color. For example, here I am mixing together sky blue and rose Tyrian. I can also mix all three colors together at once, varying the amounts to create different tints, tones, and shades. This will create a vast array of colors, all within one triad family.
I will create three groups of swatches for this triad color harmony. Group one is of high value or light swatches. I need to add permanent white in order to do this. Group two is a group of low value or dark swatches. I need to add jet black in order to do this. And lastly, I will create group three, which will be comprised of medium value swatches. I need to use two different processes to create the medium value swatches, which will include both bright, saturated swatches and dull, desaturated swatches. Now I'll begin. I'll start with group one, the high value or light swatches. I'll squeeze out some permanent white and add a few drops of water. Now, I'll mix them together. Using my palette knife, I will add an extremely tiny amount of Rose Tyrian and an extremely tiny amount of Linden Green and mix this together. I must be sure to keep my swatches extremely light, almost white, so I will have to continue to add more white gouache to this mixture as I go to keep it from getting too dark. Then I will thoroughly clean one of my brushes and use it to paint a swatch of the high value or light color that I have created. These swatches may look like the same color when wet, but when dry, they will be slightly different tints from each other. Remember to always have at least two of the three colors in your mixture. Now I will paint group two, the low value or dark swatches. I will squeeze out some jet black and use my palette knife to add colors. Notice I also cleaned my three brushes. Be sure to always have two or three colors in each mixture. I can also have all three colors in the mixture at the same time. When painting this series, I will work back and forth between using my palette knife and all three brushes. I will use up the remaining three pools of the original triad colors, Rose Tyrian, Linden Green, and Sky Blue. Now I will paint group three, the medium value swatches. But first, I will have to recreate the three original colors of my triad again, because I just used them up painting the low value or dark swatches. For the first process of group three, I will intermix only the pure colors themselves without adding jet black, permanent white, or gray. The resulting colors will be very bright or saturated. Remember to always have at least two of the three colors in your mixture.
For the second process of group three, I will add medium gray to the paint mixtures. First, to create gray, squeeze out some white gouache and a small amount of the black. Thoroughly mix these together with your palette knife to create a medium gray. Now, start intermixing the gray with the Rose Tyrian, Linden Green, and Sky Blue. Remember to always have at least two of the three colors in the mixture. I can also have all three colors in the mixture at the same time. I will work back and forth between using my palette knife and all three of my brushes. When painting gouache swatches, I want to create an opaque, smooth, and matte surface without any brush strokes. Gouache is used in art and design classes because when dry, it is matte and therefore absorbs a lot of light. This makes it easy to see the color accurately. If I use too much water, the swatches will be transparent and too much paper will show through. While there is nothing inherently wrong with gouache applied this way, it doesn't work for our purpose of creating swatches that can accurately be used to study color and or value relationships. And if I don't use enough water, the swatch will be too thick and when dry, will be lumpy and have ridges. This is a waste of gouache. It will also crack when dry, like mud, and chunks will fall off. At last, here are my completed sheets of Triad Color Harmony swatches. This Triad Color Harmony exercise will expose you to the vast array of tints, tones, and shades that can be created by limiting your palette to a predetermined group of colors. Designers and artists will use a color harmony because the colors within it are related to each other, thereby creating a balanced visual experience.